Babylon the Great, mother of all prostitutes and abominations of the earth. Is there any evidence in the Holy Bible concerning Freemasonry? Yes, there most certainly is. The verse I just quoted, for instance, concerns Freemasonry. I'm going to read from the uh, book of Proverbs, which is just 20 pages. That's all it is. 20 pages of pure godly wisdom. And this pertains very much to the great whore of Babylon, the prostitute. I'll just read through it and what I will do is I, I will stop now and then and, and I will tell you what I feel the Lord is showing me about this. Book of Proverbs. The purpose of Proverbs. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. The purpose of these Proverbs is to teach people wisdom and discipline and to help them understand wise sayings. Through these Proverbs, people will receive instruction in discipline, good conduct and doing what is right, just and fair. These Proverbs will make the simple-minded clever. They will give knowledge and purpose to young people. Let those who are wise listen to these Proverbs and become even wiser. And let those who understand receive guidance by exploring the depth of meaning in these Proverbs, parables, wise sayings and riddles. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Only fools despise wisdom and discipline. A father's exhortation. Acquire wisdom. Listen, my child, to what your father teaches you. Don't neglect your mother's teaching. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and clothe you with honour. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. They may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone. Let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive as the grave swallows its victims. Though they are in the prime of life, they will go down into the pit of death. And the loot we'll get will fill our houses with all kinds of things. Come on, throw in your lot with us. We'll split our loot with you. Don't go along with them, my child. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit crimes. They hurry to commit murder. When a bird sees a trap being set, it stays away. But not these people. They set an ambush for themselves. They booby trap their own lives. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for gain. It ends up robbing them of life. Now before we carry on here, this is talking about people joining together in one accord, hiding in secrecy, in order to fill their own pockets to the detriment of others who are innocent. This is the great whore of Babylon. These are those who hide in the darkness, in the shadows, and ambush you as you go about your way. This is about Freemasonry. Listen carefully. Wisdom shouts in the street. Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls out to the crowds along the main street and to those in front of City Hall. You simpletons, she cries. How long will you go on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools fight the facts? Come here and listen to me. I will pour out the spirit of wisdom upon you and make you wise. I call you so often, but you don't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh 
when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. When calamity overcomes you like a storm. When you are engulfed by trouble, trouble. And when anguish and distress overwhelm you. And I will not answer when they cry for help. Even though they anxiously search for me. They will not find me. For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. That is why they must eat the bitter fruit of living their own way. They must experience the full terror of the path they have chosen. For they are simpletons who turn away from me to death. They are fools and their own complacency will destroy them. But all who listen to me will live in peace and safety, unafraid of harm. The benefits of wisdom. My child, listen to me and treasure my instructions. Turn your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and understanding. Search for them as you would for lost money or hidden treasure. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of good sense to the godly. He is their shield, protecting those who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of justice and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just and fair. And you will know how to find the right course of action every time. For wisdom will enter your heart. And knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise planning will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people. From those whose speech is corrupt. These people turn from right ways to walk down dark and evil paths. They rejoice in doing wrong. And they enjoy evil as it turns things upside down. What they do is crooked and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman. From the flattery of the adulterous woman. She has abandoned her husband and ignores the covenant she made before God. Entering her house leads to death. It is the road to hell. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the paths of life. Follow the steps of good men instead and stay on the paths of the righteous. For only the upright will live in the land and those who have integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land and the treacherous will be destroyed. Now God here has told us that the great whore of Babylon is an adulterous woman who has turned away from her husband, which is God. We are the bride of Christ. This is referring to human people who have turned away and joined Freemasonry. And in the same way that God punishes the adulterer and the adulteress, he will punish these people because they have committed adultery against him. They have gone and fornicated with the great whore. They have enjoyed doing evil. And they have done it in secrecy. An adulterous woman. Commits adultery in secret. She doesn't tell her husband. It's like the book of Proverbs says. She eats. Wipes her mouth and says I haven't done anything wrong. You're mad. You need to see a doctor. And this is the sort of thing. That Freemasons do even to this day. And we're being told here that if you visit the great hall, if you go to her, you are doomed.